So the 2018 Nobel Prize in Physics has been awarded, and uh, part of the work that it was awarded to is this concept called optical tweezers. I've got the optical tweezers uh, Wikipedia article open here, which I'll link to in the description below. But essentially the way an optical tweezer works is you have a couple things happening. One, you have uh, this, uh, this field of laser light that's being focused here in kind of this, uh, in this lens structure here. And so that creates a trap for the particle that you're interested in moving around. So you're basically, you're trying to move particles around with light. And so you have this trap here where the particle is gonna tend to go toward the center, except that the particle is also experiencing a, a collision from the light that's coming in. So say the laser light is coming in from this way, photons are gonna bounce off of this particle and cause it to displace slightly away from the center of the trap. So for example, you have the, excuse me, from the beam waste. So you have the beam waste right here where it's naturally gonna try to go, but then these photons are knocking it away from there. So you can see it's up and to the left a little bit in this picture. And so I've set that up as a model here in GlowScript. Here is our particle, uh, red in this case. The spring represents the trap that we've set up. It represents that, uh, that laser field. And then these incoming pellets here represent the photons that are bombarding the particle. And so they cause it to displace away from the center, from its equilibrium point. It keeps trying to go back, but these are basically driving it away from there. Let me show you how I set that up in our code over here. Um, so basically we create the particle, we create the trap, we set up our usual Euler-Cromer method here where we evaluate the force on the spring. This is basically uh, negative KX Hooke's law. And we update the particle's momentum um, using the rearranged slope formula. Then down here, we update the particle's position, again, using a rearranged slope formula. For more about the Euler-Cromer method, you can see the series linked in the description below. In the middle here, though, we want to check for whether the photons have collided with the particle yet. So we've got our photons set up here in the loop. We're checking for whether each photon has come into contact with the particle. Basically, if we uh, intercept the two here, then we have a collision. And then here we just apply the elastic collision results, which again, I'll include a link about that in the description below. Uh, once the photon has collided with the particle, we're done with it, and so we can remove the photon here. So we uh, set it to invisible, we remove it from the list, and then we delete it. And basically, this is where the, the chunky part of the physics happens, is that the uh, we're basically trying to exchange some momentum and some kinetic energy between the photon and the particle. And so these equations take care of both of those. And uh, the only other thing we need to do is actually send the photon. So basically every uh, time we pass by an amount of time equal to the photon time, we create a new photon and send it up toward the particle. Uh, here we are moving the photons. They're going to maintain a constant momentum until they get up there. Now I did cheat a little bit here rather than bring in the actual um, uh, relativistic collision equations. Just for simplicity, I gave each photon a mass. You're really not supposed to do that, but it's the same general idea. The, the particle is being bombarded with smaller particles that then go away and, and don't bother it again after the collision. And so this thing will just continue on over and over again. You can play around with the photon's momentum. You can play around with the particle's mass. You can play around with the spring stiffness. Um, if you want to take this code from the description below and make your own optical tweezer setup, um, hope you enjoy this. Hope that you get to learn a little bit about the, this Nobel Prize winning work um, here as you play around with this code. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.